So welcome back to another episode of Mandy and Carlton and the ICF new build. Down in Devon, the build is really cracking on. So let's go over to Mandy and see what's been happening recently. This is the end of week 15 and we're going to do things a bit differently this week. We're going to take a few short videos of different parts of the house so you can see what's been going on. We're at the back now and as you can see the fascias have been put on the back. The guys are back on site on Tuesday after the bank holiday weekend, Easter weekend. And they got on with the fascias and the soffits and all sorts of other stuff which I'll show you shortly. And the barge board. Since the last video, spring has sprung, we've had some fantastic dry, warm weather, everything's greened up and I don't know if you can see down there but that great big pile of earth is now like the Sahara Desert, it's full of cracks, really dry. Down there is the garden office and last week the guys put the board on for the roof of the office and that's all plasticed up. That will have um, EPDM on it which is a waterproof membrane and that will be the roof on that office. We're inside now on the first floor and um, as you can see since we were up here last time we now have the timber frame wall. The big bit in the middle there is where the fire will go and either side of it there'll be big sliding patio doors so repair either side of the fire and the guys got all this in last week so this is the only bit of timber frame external wall that we've got in the whole house the rest of it is all new dura um, obviously this timber frame wall will have to be packed with loads of insulation um, this is what we would have had had we gone down the whole timber frame route we would then have to get all the insulation in which would have been extra cost, extra time which we didn't want. Last week also the guys got loads of noggins up in the roof between the rafters. Um, they've been making really good use of the offcuts of timber that we had from the rafters to do those noggins and they got nearly all of them done um, but now we have to get some more timber in so that'll be the job for next week and this is the ground floor so this is looking in through what will be the front door and we've had a load more studs stud walls go up this week so that will be our cupboard for coats and things in there and then looking through the stairs will go up where the ladders are the ladder is. That will be the downstairs utility room with the back door out into the carport. There's a block hall that will go up here and that's where that utility room is where the MVHR mechanical ventilation and heat recovery unit will sit. We need that with um, the new Dura because it's so airtight um, we don't want to have trickle vents in windows letting drafts in so we decided to keep the building airtight and have mechanical ventilation. So this that we're walking through into now that will be one of the guest bedrooms with French doors then looking across there where that the blocks are on the ground there that will be another stud wall and there'll be an ensuite there and then we've got another spare room here and looking through where that brown pipe is that will be the family bathroom there'll be a stud wall here so you won't be able to see through there but that's the family bathroom so that'll be bath toilet basin and separate walk-in shower 
And then when you come out of the family bathroom, this is the master bedroom. Again with French doors out into the garden. And around this side, that will be the walk-in wardrobe. And next to it, the ensuite bathroom. So lots of studs, stud walls gone up this week and boarded and really good progress again. This week I am actually standing where the huge pile of soil was last week and as you can see that's all gone and the garden is taking shape now. Carl's had a machine on site all week and where those two long piles of soil were on the left and right hand side that's all been graded and put into different levels for the garden and to tell you all about that here's Carl good morning good day <laughs> g'day Kelba <G'day. laughs> so what have you been doing oh well we've had a lot of fun with a big machine um, leveling it out but doing it in layers so we've obviously had all the clay which we had about 100 and something tons of clay so we've, we've managed to regrade all of that so that's our sub layer and then I've integrated some topsoil into the, into a mid layer and we've ended up with a nice amount of topsoil on top of that as well. So that's all come about fairly well. We've got a nice big flat area here which can have lawn. And yesterday we managed to get some plants in as well. So we had some plants to stop, so they've gone in straight away. So uh, before the house is finished, we've got some plants in the garden. So that's quite good. Hostas? Yes. Before the uh, slugs and snails get to them. They'll be fine, they'll be fine. So, um, so really the main bulk of all of the soil move is done now. Um, that's all complete. Um, and it's just going to be detailing it out and then getting grass in there at some point. Um, so, uh, before, you know, we, we can kind of leave it now for a while. Um, and it can settle in a little bit and then we'll think about plan B for the, for the next stage. Um, so the weather's been perfect for it then? Yeah, it's been spot on. Yeah, dry, dry weather right through. Everything's dried out really well and it's all crumbly now. So it's quite a nice, quite a nice finish for, for what we're going to be doing. Um, and then obviously we've got the, all of the front to, to 